Hi and welcome to this Miraki Minute video. In this video we are going to show a new feature for Cloud Monitored Catalyst. The new feature allows to upgrade the iOS XC software via the dashboard in a very similar way in which we upgrade the firmware for a Miraki managed device. This feature is currently available in early access. Before we start the demo, we are going to discuss some of the prerequisites. First of all, the Catalyst 9000 should be onboarded on the dashboard as a cloud monitor device. If you need help with the onboarding, uh, check our Miraki Minute video on this topic. The second point is that the switch must be in install mode. Install mode is the newest and smartest way of achieving software upgrades with Catalyst devices running iOS XE. Then, the switch should be running an iOS XC release lower than 17.9.5. This is because it's the last release we support upgrading to at the moment. The switch must be allowed to reach out for iOS XC repository. Uh, look into the install guide for additional information on the destinations. Finally, we need at least 1 GB of free space on the flash card for the 9200 and 2.5 GB on the 93 and 9500. Now that we have checked on the prerequisites, let's move to the dashboard for the actual process. For this demo, we are on our lab network where we have a Catalyst 9300 in monitoring mode deployed in the Roma Transit network. Let's move there. We're going to check uh, the current iOS XC version installed and the install mode using the embedded terminal. So we click on the switch and then we move to the tools to open the console. We issue the command show version and then we can see that the current software version is the iOS XC 17.9.4 and that we are in install mode. Now enable the upgrade feature from the Early Access panel. This is done via the Organization Early Access page. And the feature is called Cloud Monitoring Image Upgrades. There you can also find a link to the official documentation, which you can check if you have uh, any additional question regarding uh, how this uh, feature works. Let's enable it by opting in into the early access for the whole organization. Now that the feature is enabled, we can move to the actual software image upgrade, which is launched very similarly to what we will do with a Meraki managed device. We move to organization, firmware upgrades, and then we click on schedule upgrade, and then you will notice a new area, a new menu called cloud monitoring, which is dedicated to the software upgrade for cloud monitoring devices. Once we are in, we just need to select the switch we want to upgrade and click on Schedule Upgrade. You can choose what the target version is from the drop-down menu. In our case, we only have a single target release, so we select iOS 17.9.5 and we click on Next. Then we can decide whether to schedule the upgrade at a specific day and time or to perform the upgrade immediately. We will choose to upgrade right now and click to Confirm. As for every Miraki device, uh, the upgrade will start within 5 minutes. Once the upgrade starts, you will be prompt to the upgrade status page until the upgrade finishes. The download of a new software image will take some time depending on the internet link speed you are attached to. The switch will continue to serve the traffic until the upgrade will trigger a reboot. In my case, with a very slow about 8 meg uh, megabit per second internet link, the whole process, including the switch reboot, took about 35 minutes. Once the upgrade is completed, we can go back and check that the switch is back online. Let's do that. So we go back to the switch and we open the same uh, uh, terminal that we saw before and we issue the exact same commands, so it will be show version. So let's do show version and hit enter and you will see that the new software release is the 17.9.5 which means that the process was completed successfully i hope you enjoyed the video and the new feature that we delivered 
and uh, see you in the next Meraki Community video.